Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable the Hyper-V virtualization to be used on Windows 10. So technically what this is, it's a virtual system application. It's pretty much from Microsoft. And it's an alternative, instead of using like VirtualBox from Oracle or using VMware Workstation that you get from VMware. And technically, it's just another option that you can do if you go into more devs and actually have virtual computers running in background on there, you can go into more devs. But this is pretty much just the basic of how and how to enable this for it. Now, technically, if you do have a Windows 10 home, it will not work. You pretty much for this program to work, you pretty much have to have a Windows 10 Pro or an enterprise to be enabled for this to be valid. And another thing, there's some settings that you might need to do depending on this. It's possible it's also related if you're going to use VirtualBox or VMware. Workstation, you need to properly enable the virtualization technology in the BIOS. It's a very simple setting, depending on your BIOS or UEFI that you currently have. Um, you might need to enable that. Another name that might be called is like VTX. Look for it. Most likely, it's usually underneath the security settings folders around there. So just look for it. But that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much go to start and then from there just type in. It's pretty simple. You can probably search for this and go to control panel and then select programs and features then to enable turn windows features on and off. But instead we're just going to go ahead and just type in turn windows. Actually just came up right there. Turn windows features on and off. And this is what you're going to find. Go ahead and select that file. Now technically if it doesn't want to work or come up here you can pretty much just type in control panel. I just type in control and you can go to programs and right here where it says turn windows features on and off. Go ahead and select it and I'll take you to the same location. But this is what you're going to see. From there you're going to see a folder that says Hyper-V. Go ahead and select it. And if you had additional folders you should see two of them. Check both of them. Technically mine can't be selected right now because technically this video that you're making out is a virtual computer. That's showing you how to enable the hype view on this virtual computer. So you understand how this is going to work out. You might have the ability. If you do have the ability, go ahead and select it if you have it for it. And for the rest, go ahead and press OK. Right now, it's searching for required files. If it does need anything necessary to restart or to download, it is very unlikely. But if it does, go ahead and accept it. And it tells us that Windows has completed the requested changes. So let's go ahead and press close. So from now, if I go to start, and if I scroll down up, to pretty much I think it's Windows Administrative Tools. I should have the feature that I got enabled called Hyper-V Manager and here it is. From there you can pretty much connect to a server if you needed to or if you wanted to create a new one you technically can. The main features that you would have on the other one is actually to create it but because again my computer is a virtual I do not have the ability but I did enable this feature for Hyper-V Manager and you should be good and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.